Ooh, I mean, I would say I am cynical very much so, but in different ways, maybe. You know, I'm very cynical of, oh, let's all get together and, and if we just, if enough people power is in place, <laughs> it will change. I mean, the times for that, I mean, I think there's some truth to that, but I just believe that the time for that has kind of passed. We, we live in this uh, highly mass surveilled state and through various means, um, people have become very kind of, docile to actual change you know people would rather do it for attention or to be a part of a group as opposed to actually maybe we can push this change through so i'm cynical in terms of that i think maybe because i've seen real action taken in different parts of the world and i know that it's not it's not it's not cheerful it's very horrible actually you know unfortunately like political violence does have to happen in some places and, and i'm not saying i condone it but if if someone is like right we're going to murder all of you lot because you're of this ethnicity or of this you know idea or whatever uh what do you do get killed or do you fight back <laughs> you know right. it's it's like uh i said to someone the other day someone i was hearing someone kind of i don't want to say condoning colonialism but kind of on this side of like well they shouldn't have done this i said whoa, whoa, whoa. i said you cannot condone colonialism and then be against the resistance to it that is simply doesn't work you can't say no it's okay to go in there steal everything kill them and then take over their land and then be annoyed that then they go hang on we don't want that we're gonna fight back it's just you know so i i think i think in that sense maybe i become very cynical when i hear one side of one thing and one side of the other because i feel like often people are just trying to pick a a kind of point of view to project so they can be associated with a certain idea um but anyway back to your question i, I think I think on the other side of it where, you know, I, I don't feel the cynicism. I, I, I would say I'm, it's not that I'm not cynical. I'm just not dramatic, I feel like. I try not to be dramatic, you know, and, and I grew up around certain people. I grew up around certain environments and, and not, nothing crazy or anything, but just, you know, meet all different people and you meet what would be considered bad lads. And, you know, like if they were in the CERN, I'm sure they'd folk. I mean, I've seen people actually, you know, get in trouble and it's actually got to a point where it's ended up in quite a you know like a more broadcastable thing and you see a side and the way it's projecting you think i know that guy he ain't that bad like you know he's all right you know and like someone someone was uh was was saying something about i was at um like popular front my platform we we screened a documentary with hooligan football hooligans anti-fascist football hooligans but football hooligans nonetheless violent people um and some people were like it's really bad you did that and you know you didn't even condone it and you were like and i was just like man like i don't see it like that you know i don't see it they're bad i mean they're really lovely nice people and they helped us out a lot and they want to go and have arranged fights they're not hooligans that tear apart the street or anything no they're gonna have arranged fights quietly in fields with people that are usually very nasty right wing uh, it's up to them you know and, and same with the other lads that they fight like it's up to them if they want to do that so I don't see it like that and I see things more as um I have very strict you know things and morals that I believe in and I don't feel like people doing certain things certain things certain things like obviously everyone can go too far one way or another but I just feel like if someone is engaged in a certain thing it doesn't necessarily violate what I think is right or wrong um but I I think a lot of what people see as right and wrong sorry i'm really i'm really not really explaining this well because i'm trying to think of it myself but i think a lot of what people see is right or wrong it's kind of just based on dramatics right it's you know, not it's based, based on, on degrees <laughs> that's the point it's, yeah it's, and it's it's, by, it's black and white right and wrong rather than well right right this is not right. as simple as right or wrong this is like you say anti-fascist hooliganism that's almost an oxymoronic state of being because well there's it a, is and it isn't exactly it's not it isn't, it's, it the point is it's no. not simple it's not you can't they're bad end of story it's right well i suppose in of themselves but in a vacuum everything can be cast as good or bad but we don't exist in a vacuum we exist in a wider ecosystem what is good and bad you exactly know? i mean i don't i don't see i don't see those hooligans you know people say oh they're so violent Okay, well, do you know what's the best, most viewed thing on Netflix? True crime. So are those guys bad because they quietly go and act out violence between people that also want to act out violence together? And often it's for 
getting out various frustrations or building character or whatever reason they want to do this are they any worse than all of the people that basically contribute to like very lurid details of true crime being the number one spot on netflix i don't think they are and i have nothing wrong with it. i have nothing against true crime but i'm not lambasting it and saying people that like it are wrong any more than i'm saying hooligans are wrong you know and, and it's not to i don't want to get into the territory where it's like well you know it's it's all it's all like levels of gray it's not there are things that are wrong and bad and right. disgusting and in my, i have very strong opinions on what should what should be you know happening to them kind of people but it's very extreme cases i feel you know right. i don't feel like in everyday life it's so it's so quick to flip like that you know like you see you see homeless people and it's unbelievable in this country how people are, are so unbelievably lacking in empathy towards people like that like oh look at him scumbag i don't know how you look at someone homeless and see what a bad person that that's that they to me people that think that uh far more grotesque than a football hooligan personally that's what i see so and it's really not an uncommon thing to be like oh look at him a fucking bum he's a f oh fuck him don't give him any money and then and then even the other side of it which is almost more twisted the people that are like well don't give them money give them food you don't give with a fucking condition you know you give and you give you know and i i just find like that is very that to me is more twisted and less honest i think that's it. it comes down to honesty like that to me is less honest than someone that goes yeah i really enjoy fighting and i like doing it in a specific way and i have political views and they have opposing views so we're going to meet up and we're going to travel across the world to fight each other <laughs> like i just feel like that's a lot more honest than these people that try and project this this morale into the world and 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 you know talking about hooligans that they have a very i've heard them chant before like no one likes us we don't care and i think that's a lot more honest than someone that's like i'm good i'm the good one you know and we need to clean up the streets and uh, all of that kind of stuff i don't know man i i see it a lot differently and I, I guess my point is my view of like what is um you know what is what is the line to be crossed is very different perhaps to what other people say and and not i'm not saying that everyone that that sees that homeless person and perhaps says that is evil but i think they're thoroughly disturbed mm. just to have that lack of empathy i find it very disturbing that someone can have that lack of empathy these people freeze to death in winter